Uh, well, gonna be in here all day. What's up, everybody? Got the uh, Saturday working on the old tractor. First off, we'll start off with a little life hack to start this video off. Obviously, part th or part four of the Oliver Seventy coming up. So, let's say, let's say you're drinking your coffee on Saturday morning, like I am, from your fancy. Uh, wait a minute, that looks like that tractor. If it wasn't covered up, it is. Mug it starts to get a little cold, like coffee does. You just set that baby right on there for a couple minutes. Warms it right back up. All right, find something to do today. I'm not sure what yet. Actually, I do know what. Know exactly what we're going to be working on. The alternator today. I'm trying to get that fixed. So uh, I'll get all set up and I'll bring you back. Thanks for watching. I was going to get it all set up and then I kind of got going on it. So what I did was uh, I pulled the old belt off and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I'm using this ratchet strap here to get approximate length for the new belt because it's gonna have to be shorter because of how I redid that mount. And hopefully it'll only be the four or five trips to the park store to get the right belt. So I kinda got a pinch where I want it. He's asking for how long I need the hose or how long I need it. And then I can use that to figure out my length. So kind of a, you know, It'll kind of work idea. Definitely a Bibster's repair shop style fix. But um, so I'm going to figure out what that measurement is and go to the parts store, get a belt. And we'll be back hopefully with a belt on this just a little bit. All right. After only uh, two trips to the parts store, I have got the right belt. Looks like it's going to, I think it's going to fit. Let's take a better look. Because the issue we're having is obviously the sheet metal. I still have to, where should I go? balances on my noggin apparently i think the sharpest point oh um, i still have to figure out that deal but for now it's fine so let's uh close the sheet metal up here and i took the back tin off ignore that right now You see in there? This is quality. Quality things. So it looks like it's hitting on that nub. But I think I can do it. Because if you look, these will actually go ahead and off. Whoa. Okay. Stay. So this does nothing. So I think I'll just uh, file that down, sand that off. Maybe tighten this up just a little bit more. It's not too bad. It should probably spin there fine. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. All right. We'll be back. Well, got that all on there and you can see it kind of shaved that down a little bit should clear now i might still have to once i get my air compressor in here i'm gonna actually I'll whack that off a little bit more but uh what what i don't know what you're talking about there i don't know if you're seeing you're not seeing anything ridiculous well i think i'm gonna go take this thing on a little bit of a cruise so uh i'll bring you along don't you worry so hang on tight and hopefully we drop around the 70 here pretty soon
nice little drive around the neighborhood. Hope you like the views. Looks like everything was uh, pretty happy. Still, uh, one thing we're gonna have to work on is uh, this governor linkage there. It's still not, it's still not right. It throttles up nice and it comes against the governor, but it's just, it basically is, I kind of showed this before, I'll show it again. This is like no throttle. This is all the throttle, like right in here. So I think that's from, something's wrong with that linkage, but it runs good. Um, might burn a little oil, but uh, my also this hand's been running a while, so. Because the disadvantage with the, the hater pipe is you do get blasted directly in the face, but uh, not too bad. So we'll close things out. Uh, like and subscribe. More video content coming, and uh, we'll see you there. Bye.